going to build a kingdom where everyone can live happily ever after. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Nino Kuni 2, Revenant Kingdom Blind. I, I, I almost just said Revenant Kingdom Blind, and then I realized that might sound like the entire name of the game. And that's not what I'm, that is not what I intend at all. So, last time, we got ourselves an airship, but they had a big old ugly mug on the front of it, and we were just like, Oh, thanks for the present! Let's start vandalizing it, even though you said we were only lending it to us. Ha ha! Uh, but we got it, and it's awesome. But right before um, Zip showed us to give us the... Um, what is it called? Zip ship? It, 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 had a kind of, it had an actually kind of funny name. Air Zip? Whatever. Leander had something to tell us. If I may be so bold... I really have serious mail. I really serious with everyone. May I summon them here? Yeah, let's do it. I'm not one for waiting around. No. Gotcha. I hate when the thing they say is the first word of the sentence they're saying. Because I always wait for them to continue voice acting, and they never do. And it makes me so angry. Okay, angry is probably overstating it, but it's still it's frustrating. We've been receiving some rather unsettling news of late from within the kingdom. There are reports of certain resources being unaccounted for, and have a suspicious hooded character having been cited. These, among several other developments, have become the cause for some concern. <laughs> a robe swab, you say? And a shady sort to boot? Huh. So we're a thief on our number, have I? That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love how Roland just is like, no, not good. They're really doing a lot to make Roland look like he's guilty here. Um, and to be fair, of all the ones in the game, there's no real reason Roland has to swear fealty to all this. I mean, he just kind of ran into the middle of the situation and decided to help Evan out. But everyone else, like Evan, actually helped. Roland has never been, you know, Roland doesn't owe Evan for anything. Golly. Could there really be people in our kingdom who would do such a thing? I suppose this real person would be able to tell us. Yeah. Well, yeah, because he's obviously the one doing the stealing. Huh. I guess it's not such a surprise. Security around here ain't exactly what I call airtight. No, listen here. We might say we convene a little powwow to talk about how to catch this filfer of ours tonight. After dinner, perhaps? Hmm. After all, it's best to strike with the iron as hot with such matters as these. Wouldn't you say, Roland Lad? No. Sorry, I can't make it. I'm working too hard. I've got to catch up on a little sleep. But if it's urgent, do feel free to go on ahead without me. Um. <laughs> mm. Very well, Ro I hope you enjoy your rest. You do deserve it. Thanks. You didn't say I, you said grrr. His eye sounded super forlorn there. You have my thanks. So here's the problem. I sort of presumed that um, this was like an illusory Roland or something in order to like implicate the real one. But now that I think about it, when I'm seeing this, the illusory Roland isn't going to run around and get papers for them, would they? I don't, how convincing is the illusion? I just thank you again for providing us the items and information we require. Like, because if it is an illusory Roland, they're not going to thank him because he would be a double agent. He'd be one of them. So, um, I still don't think this is the real Roland. I don't know if this is some sort of, like, long game in order to, like, get in with the, uh, Mousinger Kingdom and then use that in order to infiltrate it or, like, what the, what the deal is. There's definitely something going on that isn't quite what it seems because they're not going to have Roland be, like, one of the main characters, like, literally the character you start with and then have him betray the party. Although, I don't know, actually... Because in um, I have played games where that happened, and they the character you start with does end up betraying you at some point, and then you play as everyone else. Hmm, it's possible. 
It, it, it seems a little bit too nuanced for this game, but at the same time, this is a game that's been kind of tackling some of the real-world political issues we're running into. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't mention it. Let me know if there's anything else you need. No. Well, there is one thing I've been meaning to ask. What? Why do you serve this kingdom? Such the realm populated by bandits and vagabonds? Surely there are people better suited to someone of your... <laughs> In estimable talents. That was actually a really nice effect where they zoomed in and saw the smile creep in. Well, I guess I am kind of used to perform on a bigger stage. Dude, this is a kingdom that's like the head of an alliance of 80% of the world. What bigger stage are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe it's time I went somewhere where they appreciate me a little more. The enemy is a relative term, after all. <laughs> Well, you have done more than enough to earn our gratitude. Should you ever wish for a change of scenery, you would be most welcome to join us. <laughs> the dog. So he's selling our soul eyes bitter now, is he? And if that's so, then. Ooh, you know what it might be, actually? It might very well be that, uh... Um... So, Roland, get up to much last night, did you? Meet with any interesting characters? Um, that it might be that... Oh, what is that, guys? The, the, the villainous character that's been running around stealing Kingmakers and, like, corrupting the hearts of the rulers, he might be corrupting Roland's heart and, like, feeding on his desire for, um recognition so it might actually be the legit roland but it's the legit roland doing things because of pseudo mind control just like uh queen niera and zip that's actually probably what's happening i should have thought of that sooner last night i don't know what you're talking about spare as you lies you're a traitor man fixing to leave our little kingdom behind for bigger and better don't bother to deny it I'm going to make an accusation. I'm also going to tell you not to bother to defend yourself. I've made up my mind. I don't care what defense you might have. Roland? Surely not. Surely so, lad. Or did he think it a coincidence that our precious resources only go missing on this treacherous dog's watch? Well, that seems really sloppy if it's true. Like, why would Roland do it so obviously? And what are the shady fella in the cloak he met with this past evening? Just an old pal come for a chin wag, was he? A chin wag? <laughs> I'd like to hear you explain that little lot away, Mr. President. Dot, dot, dot. Just like the real president. There must be some mistake. Mustn't there, Leander? One should not rush to judgment on the basis of hearsay alone, but I must say this does seem somewhat irregular. It is interesting how close hearsay and heresy are in terms of spelling. What? There you have it. Now sling your hook before I sling it for you, you scurvy swine. What does sling your hook mean? Man, Bato has such interesting idioms. So that's how much trust I've earned, huh? Good to know. Maybe I would be better off someplace else. Someplace my talents will be appreciated. Well, that's not really... Uh... I do really feel like that they are feeding on his need for recognition and his need to belong. Because you have to realize that Roland came from... I mean, he doesn't know anyone here. So he is probably, like, super homesick. And he's been distracting himself with this kingdom, but this kingdom is starting to run itself. And so he's having to more and more face the fact that everyone he's ever known is basically dead to him. He as good as admits it. And why the hell so didn't Batu... Evan... Why the hell didn't Batu confront Roland last night when he saw it? Why did he wait till the next morning to make these spurious accusations? Roland, you can't! I mean, he can't. I still don't think it's going to work out this way. Um, what happens if you're in the middle of a research project and Roland makes up the IQ in order to let you actually do it, but then he, like, leaves your party forever? Not even the slightest attempt to defend himself. One cannot help but wonder if Batu's suspicions were well-founded. No!
Well now. And uh, who are you? <laughs> Forgive me, Chief Consul. Or should I say, former Chief Consul. So you saw that too. <laughs> well, what do you want with me? Why, to engage your services, of course. Now that is super suspicious, that there's someone else that's just waiting for this to happen. You've got information that would be quite useful to us, I'm sure. Well, that is quite the offer. What exactly do you have in mind? Mm. For one such as yourself? <laughs> Plenty, my friend. Plenty. But if you wish to learn more, you must speak with my master. And who is that? <laughs> my King Mousinger, of course. There's no need to be coy. Wait, is that a rat person? Huh. Param param param, ba 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 bam ba bam. Blimey! He didn't come back all night. And we sent Kunbish after. He hasn't report back in it either. Oh. I do feel sorry for Evan. Evan is the one person that actually still trusts him, but he, he for whatever reason he didn't speak up. Poor Evan. It's like a homecoming. Ding Dong Dell Castle. Interesting, I bet those used to be cats. King Mousinger awaits you in the throne room. Please make your way straight ahead. On that note, I must leave you. I do hope your counsel with conversation with His Majesty proves most fruitful. Interesting. I play as Roland. I mean, I don't know why that's. Oh. Been fed up with mother I was moaning at me. So when I'm gonna get promoted. Mm. I got wish a lot with a high rank and girl can have been discharged or demoted. So yeah, the fact that they're actually letting me play as Roland almost guarantees he's not really betraying anyone. <laughs> Maybe there's a grimlock on here in the castle because they're doing basic chores no mouse can be bothered with. I'm gonna stick around for too long and I get roped in too. Well, I'm not a grimlockin if you didn't notice. <sighs> Heh <laughs> look sharp, Demokin! Man on your feet getting work as a guard. Don't get complacent now. <laughs> that is interesting to like Grimokin to be the guards. <laughs> Must be the gifted states we haven't heard so much about. I wonder what it was that made you return to Ding Dong Dell. It's interesting that the doors are fish. Probably something they haven't been able to replace yet. <laughs> Mousing is the best King Ding Dong Dell ever had. He's so cheap now, I can afford to eat it every day. I mean, I can't be much fun for the Grimokin, though. I remember the last time I saw a shop stocking fresh fish? What is this? Oh, okay. Expect his army soldiers are supposed to protect the kingdom on your way here. Things have changed. We're not letting other nations push us around anymore. <laughs> <sighs> I remember you all too well. So I noticed the scars of the day of the coup. Have we forgotten? There are other guards who feel the same as me. So we the rule of etiquette for now. But who knows when we might stop being so polite. I kind of wonder if they made reference to the fact that um, Roland actually attacked some of them. Oh, hello. You used to work for Evan, didn't you? Why in the world did you come back here? 
No. That is a good question. I got my eye on you, you know. My name's Captain Buck. Captain Buck Rogers. When falls moving, I'll be happy to send your head rolling. <laughs> Irony. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Greetings. Wow, they didn't even voice act this. That's surprising. Oh, what a pleasure. It seems an age since we last met. So much has happened since I took my rightful place on the throne. Your Majesty. Well, well, well. Oh, Vermeen. I've heard of him, but I don't know if I ever actually saw him. So this is the famous Roland. Well, well, well. But I, but I am forgetting myself. I am Chancellor Vermeen. Charmed, I'm sure. Following your work with great interest, to remain almost viable roller of young Evan is quite the feat. A sterling achievement indeed. <laughs> I remember very well how you thwarted my designs for our young friend. But rest assured, I bear you no ill will on that account. I've been examining your nature, your actions. I've decided you and I may come to an arrangement. Well, I'm glad to hear it. And good of you to get straight to the point. All right. Shall we get down to business? My terms are simple. I want power, and maybe a little money as well. Give me those, and I'll give you what you want. <laughs> Hell, I'll even give you Evan. <laughs> Interesting. This is very... I. For a while, I, I, I kind of had this idea of a dichotomy where Roland didn't remember what he was doing at night, and then he felt like he got snubbed. But to straight up offer up Evan, I don't know what's going on, because this definitely does feel like the legit Roland at this point. Very well. I believe in making the best use of talents of those of my employ. Forgive me. But I will... What? If giving you Evan is it going to be enough? Why are you to prove yourself first? Hmm. We've prepared a little test for you in the dungeons. Let's see if your loyalties are really as fluid as you claim. In the dungeons? Hmm. Because there's, I mean, obviously they could have Roland in a one-on-one -on -one boss fight with something or other, but the problem is, like, the fact that he's willing to kill a monster doesn't really prove anything. So unless they've, like, captured someone, it does, I don't know what test they could possibly be doing. Yes. Let's be prepared to kill the Ding Dong Dale. The King Mossinger himself. Oh, hello. Looks like I need to go that way. That's closed off. This is open, surprisingly. wonder how long it'll let me go before it stops me. Because you know me, I'm always looking for areas that I'm not supposed to go. Wow, I'm, I'm able to go pretty well. Or pretty far. Because this is heading back towards... Like, where I picked Evan up, isn't it? I'm actually amazed they let you go all this way. Um, I figured I'd run into a door pretty darn quick. Is this just purely for nostalgia? Wait a second. No, this isn't going to go all the way back to Evan's room, it looks like. This is just letting you see the path. Well, wait. Huh. I keep having changed my mind. And I'm not sure which tower Evan's room was in. So I definitely remember coming around a thing like this and then going through the gardens, but it looks like there's identical gardens on both sides. Oh, 
Okay. Boy, this does bring out memories, though. Started this game a long time ago. It's interesting there's nothing, like, lying around that I can pick up. Maybe it's because Roland really is leaving the party. I doubt it, though. Um... What are you talking about? I was specifically sent here by King Malsinger. I think this guy's a tra uh, traitor, guys. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I completely got... Never mind. He was me referring to the other up ahead. A lot of save points around. I guess they never closed any of them off. So here's a boss fire room. Oh, he, oh, that's why that guy never reported back. I should have thought of that, actually. Master Roland! You. You're one of Batu's men. Aye, that I am. Kumbish is the name. I remember you when we read you in the, like, Windy Canyon. This gentleman was apprehended after being observed behaving suspiciously in our airspace. It is our belief that he is a spy. In your airspace? Like, if they're going to send a spy, they would send a mouse person. Curse you, you devils. Didn't I say already? I was looking for Master Roland. For me? Why? <laughs> Forgive me, Your Honor. Seems I made a blunder. What? <laughs> you sure did. And why am I not surprised? Now, Mr. Crane, to our test. Crane? Let us see where your allegiance... Is his name Roland Crane? Is he, like, related to Fraser? Dispatching one of your former allies should provide us with adequate proof that you are ready to serve a new master. No, no. Listen here, you rat face swab, you. Now, this is the... This is where I... If they actually have Roland do this, I may actually have to change my... Everything I've been saying this episode about how he's not really leaving. Is something the matter? Surely you are capable of such a straightforward show of commitment? Or could it be that we have an imposter in our midst? That is an interesting problem, though. But again, again, the fact they had us play as Roland really makes me think that this can't be what happens. Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's just say I prefer to use my own methods. Master Roland! No! We're shipmates! You, you can't just... Sorry. It's nothing personal. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ah! Curse you for the traitor you are! Ah! Wow. wow. Happy now? Hmm. Happy enough. So, what, tranquilizer darts? I mean, I, I, I keep trying to think of a way this might not be the case. Hmm. Well, it's been days now, man. Where's the old really bug coming out, man? Yeah. Kunbish never came back after we sent him out to look for him either. Where did Roland disappear to? We have to go look for him. He might need our... Puh. <laughs> There's nothing from us, Gully, and he'll get nothing. The man's a turncoat and a traitor. Damn him to hell. But he can't be. I, I just refuse to believe it. This must be some sort of... It, it's funny how naive Evan is, and he's saying the exact same thing I've been saying all episode. Like, I agree with Evan. Mustn't it, Meander? I do advise you to forget about him, Your Majesty. He is, I hate to say, no longer your concern. Forgive me. You have more pressing work. Give the trait. Give the traitor no more thought. What? What? Five minutes. Hasn't it been like days? 
Talk about cold. Wasn't Rolo one of our best friends five minutes ago? Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, that's my plan. We should keep those Grimble control bags out of your hell for a while, at least. Oh. Well, <laughs> to have formulated such a thorough strategy in so short a time is really quite something, I must say. Mm. Impressive indeed. Seems like entirely justified in welcoming you into our fold. Now, there's another favor I've been meaning to ask of you. The Mark of Kings. You have heard of it? Sure. Handed down for generation to generation of royals here in Ding Dong Dell. It's proof of the right to rule. Without it, it's possible to access certain places. Works as a kind of a key, correct? Mm. Precisely. It's a pendant of brightest blazing red. A beautiful object, indeed. Necessary if one is wishes to enter our nation's king's cradle. Uh -huh. You are ad admirably concise as ever. We have searched the castle high and also low, and yet it's nowhere to be found. Which makes me leads me to believe it is not, in fact, here. <sighs> oh, it isn't. It's around Evan's neck. Every minute of every day. It certainly won't be easy to get a hold of that. But that doesn't need, mean it's impossible. I'll need a few things in a little time. You shall have all that you need. There's no other to I, I to the task be entrusted, after all. Say. What about you, Your Excellency? Any errands you want the new guy to run? <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. Let, let me see now. We are obliged to inform Captain Buck of the War Council. We'll unfortunately have to be postponed a little. Sure. All right. So first things first. Will it let me back in the dungeon so I can check on... Nope. Okay. Wait, no, that is open. I have a sneaky suspicion it will not actually let me go through here. Yep. It doesn't let me check in the dungeon because that they would actually have to animate either a corpse or it would spoil the beans that he used some sort of non-lethal ammo. Oh. Well, uh, and the famous Roland. In time a few days, already the flavor of the month or so, I hear. This is the one so lofty over the lowly soldier such as myself, hmm? That's about the size of it. Mm. I see, the castle war's been postponed. I shan't forget! Oh no. They're changing the postings for some of the guards. All men assigned to the night shift in the east and west blocks are to patrol outside the castle instead. Oh! The mysterious change, the routine. But ours is not the reason why. It shall be done, Mr. Roland, sir. It shall be done. Mm hmm So that's interesting, because obviously he made that part up, but he made it up in such a way that if he's caught, he can just say, oh, well, I did this because of blah, blah, blah. I mean, he can, he can actually justify it pretty easily. Yes. He even said he needed time, and he could be like, this is part of my preparations. Did I just see a trip door? Oh, good. Coast is clear. Why are you sneaking around? You can just you, you're like the third in command of the whole place. Hmm. That's really a little too smoothly. Streams back some memories. <sighs> Can't help feeling a little bad about what I did, had to do for Kush. Kish Kush. Couscous? Couscous? Huh? Huh. Locked. 
I suppose that makes sense. Well, nothing this little guy can't fix. The hell is that? I'm assuming that doesn't work for the ones that need the red the red pendant to get into. <laughs> the luckety clicker shows off looking pleased with itself. <laughs> Actually, I've seen everything. Thanks, little guy. All right, here goes. Lucky King should be in here somewhere. The ship's nearly ready. Now to weigh anchor and set sail the high seas. Yeah. Uh huh. It's time to go back to Hydropolis and sign up the, the declaration. But well, they have to think beyond that too. Most of all, we need to think of what to do about Ding Dong Dell. They won't be making peace with us anytime soon. <laughs> they won't be letting us close enough to even even shout about peace. Whole whole air is crawling with soldiers. There is a way we might be able to get past them, you know. I only opened a member of the royal family called the King's Way. Huh? Wait, did Roland go back there just to get the thing? Hmm. But we won't be able to access it without the Mark of Kings. Huh. It's a pin that passed down among the rulers of Ding Dong Dell. So it's a proof of the right to rule and, act, and is a key to certain secret places. Uh -huh. You met Mars, I'll be looking for it too. It was given to me when my father passed away, but... You wouldn't left it behind when you skedaddled, eh? Well, exactly squirrel the thing away, laddie. Well, there are hidden rooms in the castle. I thought it'd be the safest there, in the one connected to my chambers. The designs of the royal family could hide in times of emergency, and without the mark, even escape if need be. <laughs> Not exactly as you leave something you're useful behind, you feckless young oaf. <sighs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's because a certain someone appeared out of thin air, and then all hell broke loose. I shouldn't think anyone knows about the secret room except myself, which means that Mousinger probably hasn't found it yet. I should know exactly where to look for the switch in the statue in the corner of the room. I shouldn't think you'd ever find it. Oi! Well, that's all very... Okay, so this was the plan the whole time. It's all very interesting, but if we just go to Ding Dong Dell to find the thing we need to get us into Ding Dong Dell, well, that's not much use, really, is it? Hmm... The statue in the corner of the room. Let's see now. So they're actually still leaving it up vague whether or not Roland is like. Although no, it's there's not leaving not leaving it vague at all. I was thinking it's like you know Roland could be coming here because he knows it's there, but in actuality it's like no, he wouldn't have lied to Mousinger about where the thing is if he wasn't. Huh. Oh, that's where the entrance was hidden. That's right, I never found it unless I knew where to look. So, in all honesty, there should be a switch in here. Wow. That the big room is hidden way down here. Um, in order to move the bed back, because this is where the royal family is supposed to be able to hide, right? Huh? So that would give us this game. So I'll grab it while I'm here. I thought it was supposed to be red. Did the mouse here say it was red? <laughs> Very clever, mouse singer. Clever. I've seen a wild goose chase, huh? Because he doesn't trust me as much as he pretends. Huh? Maybe he's using me to find this place. Oi! Oh, uh, just looking for something. Something very special indeed. 
The Mark of Kings, if I am not mistaken. Yep, because he he's lied about his description, and when Roland's like, yeah, he's, Evan's wearing it all the time. So it was hidden here all along, and hidden very well. Believe me when I say we searched long and hard. I am disappointed in you, Roland. To deceive one's professed master is most uncivil. All's fair in love and war. Isn't that what they say? Indeed it is. I am so very glad not to have believed you for a moment. Now, if you would be so kind as to hand over the mark. Without, except for Mousinger, I'm pretty sure I can take six guards. I don't think so. This belongs to the king. My king. Of course, if you'll sign the declaration, I'll be happy to make you a trade. You speak of your pathetic union. Now, I hardly think you are in any position to bargain. I'm surprised Balsinger didn't take him up on that. You know, it's like, hey, you can have full access to your kingdom if you agree to a non-aggression treaty. And their whole worry is being pushed around by other nations. Not interested, huh? Well, let me know if you change your mind. Ha! <laughs> to send a spy was most... Cunning. I must confess I had not thought your young protege capable of such subterfuge. Well, he's not about to poison his rivals or anything, but he's coming along. Very droll. But you <laughs> of all people surely understand that no dream worthy of the name can be achieved without certain sacrifices being made along the way. It had to be done. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm sure you would. So what is this dream of yours exactly? Well, obviously being king. Do you need to ask? For too long, our kind have suffered at the hands of the Grimalkin. Oh, it's Grimalkin. I've been mispronouncing it the entire game. My dream is a simple one. To see our feline oppressors prostrate themselves at our feet. Revenge, in other words. Pretty lame dream. Oh, call it what you will. It matters not. I have achieved my aim. A new era beckons. And my dream is now a reality. Tell me something. If your kind were so downtrodden, how exactly did you wind up becoming King Leonard's Chancellor? Pa! He used me! I was the unwitting tool of my persecutor. Unwitting? A puppet chosen to make my people more compliant. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Huh? <gasps> wow. I am tired of listening to this man. That's interesting. We should kill him. Here and now. Hmm. Very well. Men, forward! Well, here goes nothing. Wait, Clark can't get glasses? That's right. Come and get me. out of here. There's something I have to take care of first. To the dungeons? Yep. And we will go to the dungeons in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and I am glad that I was right about Roland. Because Roland's my friend. See you next time, guys.